morning, everyone. Steve Georgie here from Allendale's Trading Floor, July 15th, the middle of the month. We do have things starting off a little lower this morning. After seeing a little bit of recovery yesterday, mostly led by wheat, uh, we did see, uh, we were seeing things kind of set back today. Corn down three and a quarter, beans down six, wheat down two and three quarter cents right now. Uh, reasons for that, uh, crop conditions that came out yesterday. 76%. Good to excellent for corn. That is up 1%. Uh, beans coming in at 72%. That's unchanged from the previous week. And then spring wheat at 70% as well. That's unchanged. So this rain uh, that we're seeing come through uh, the Midwest, certainly helping conditions uh, once again or maintaining them. Um, but the weather is still very favorable as we move uh, through these these weather models that they continue to put out. Um, we've got uh, no major stress right now for uh, for corn as we uh, are going through pollination in some areas and move into pollination for some of these other areas as well. Uh, we do have some cooler temps moving through the upper Midwest, uh, but that's really not a uh, not a major concern here uh as, as we're in pollination. So the weather, you still have got to look at this as, as more of a bearish tone on the weather. Um, and it's probably going to remain that way. So uh, we'll see. But conditions still very, very good. Uh, charts are certainly still negative. Yes, as I mentioned earlier, we've had a little recovery yesterday. Some guys thinking there's going to be a little hope for more of a rebound. But when you look at the numbers uh, that came out uh, from that USDA report, still suggesting that we're going to see lower prices yet. So be careful jumping on the long side of these markets. Uh, the trends right now are still down for, for corn, beans, and wheat. Uh, so as, as, uh, as they say, the trend is your friend. So continue to honor that until we break some of these resistance points. So be careful there. As far as livestock, cattle up a buck. Uh, box beef coming in a little bit lower. Choice down 65. Select down 42. Um, but show list this week coming in a little bit higher. So we could see a little bit of pressure uh, this week as far as cattle if we're going to do what we had done and similar to last week. So watch for cash trades, nothing yet. Um, but uh, as of right now, finding a little bit of a bounce uh, up about a dollar for cattle. Uh, hogs down 30 cents right now, taking a little break after being up yesterday. Um, cutout values down 48 cents, but overall still very strong as far as cash hogs. Uh, and if they're going to remain that way, we've got the August contract that may be a little bit undervalued at this point if we can see the cash market stay strong. So continue watching that. You're going to find a lot of spreaders uh, jumping into this market. Um, so watch that as, as we go throughout the week. But uh, cash-wise, still very strong in the hogs. Probably going to see the strength continue. Uh, something I do want to mention is our Ag Leaders uh, Conference Series We've got our conference coming up next week, uh, the 22nd through the 24th. Get online, register for that. Uh, we're going to go through weather, grains, and livestock in depth. We're going to go through price projections. What are we looking at here going into the end of the year, uh, as well as some different strategies for you guys uh, as well. So get online, get registered for that. You can do that uh, on allendale-inc.com. Or you can give us a call. We can help you out with that, 800-262-7538. Uh, so I uh, hope you guys have a great day out there. I will uh, be back tomorrow morning, let you guys know what's going on then. Take care.